Hi, I'm Dr. Nathan, and I'd like to talk about the needle apoderotomy technique to treat Dupuytren's contracture. Dupuytren was a Frenchman who, in the last century, described this condition, which we now understand to be a tumor-like growth in the palm of your hand and your fingers. And it starts as um, little nodules in your palm or your fingers, and then it can grow at different sites. And then these little nodules or growths can sort of merge or blend together to form a cord. The cords can shorten and produce a tight band and it can draw the finger down. And when it does that, then it's appropriately termed Dupuytren's contracture. And a contracture is when one can't move a joint in one direction or another. This is a hereditary condition. It usually occurs in men of Eastern Northern European descent, but it can occur in anybody. Traditional treatment had been to surgically remove the abnormal tissue and lengthen the skin in order to bring the finger into a more extended posture. About 35 years ago, a rheumatologist in France named Dr. Laramie Sue devised a technique whereby he would take a small needle and he would go through the skin and cut the cord so that the finger can now open. And that's what's been termed needle apneurotomy or percutaneous apneurotomy. Uh, about 2000, Dr. Charles Eaton of Florida visited Dr. Laramie Sue and brought back the technique uh, to the United States. In 2008, I was fortunate to uh, visit him in Florida and train and see and learn about this technique. And since that time, uh, it's been a workhorse that we've utilized in our office to non-operatively address Dupuytren's contracture. What this technique involves is using a small amount of local anesthesia right above the cord in the palm. And then we can take a small needle and basically just cut the cord or cut the rope so that it pops open. With this technique, one can do it at several areas along the cord. The nerves are in a position on the outside of the cord. So we avoid the nerves and the blood vessels. Deep down is a tendon, so the technique involves going through the skin and then dividing the cord and stopping. So the goal of the procedure is to simply divide a tight cord caused by Dupuytren's and make the finger in a better posture for function. So the advantages of this procedure is that it's done under local anesthesia only, uh, no sedation or general anesthesia or any other medications are needed. Occasionally therapy is beneficial if the joint, which has been flexed for a prolonged period, is tight. Most patients can get back to light activities the next day. With time, the tissue grows back and it can tighten back up. And what we found, and I think what's been seen in the literature, is about over three to four years, about half of patients, it can come back. But the alternative is to do an extensive open procedure to remove all the t abnormal tissue. And it can still come back with that. The downsides of the needle apoderotomy, besides uh, that you can get recurrence, is uh, certain patterns are not amendable to the procedure. If the tissue from the Dupuytren's is too broad and diffuse, or there are certain locations in the fingers where the nerves may be vulnerable to injury, one may not be a candidate. But overall, this technique has proven in a large portion of our patients um, as a relatively simple measure to improve the extension in a patient with Dupuytren's. Surgery is still a very useful tool which we perform. The outcome of surgery is largely dependent upon how severe the contracture is initially. For many patients who present uh, for surgery, commonly the definitive way to take care of this, performing a needle apoderotomy first can open the joint and make the final results of surgery much easier and better because we can lessen the degree of contracture when surgery is performed.